There are tons of articles, reviews and YouTube videos on the internet about the Canon R8, but none of them gave me an answer to my four specific questions. Whether the Canon R8 has clean HDMI feed, whether the Canon R8 can be used together, for example, with Atomos Ninja 5 to record longer 60 FPS videos, or at least 30 FPS ones, and whether you can use the Canon R8 as a streaming camera for longer streams, or whether the Canon R8 has some other hidden limitations for external recording. That's why I decided to deeply test it and get the answers myself. And believe me, if I would see this video you are watching right now before I bought the Canon R8, that would save me a lot of time and money. And during my testing, I discovered one crucial piece of information that Canon does not advertise anywhere. So watch till the end, because that can dramatically change your buying decision. So, answer number one, yes, the Canon R8 has clean HDMI feed. It's a little bit wonky compared to other cameras, but it works. Normally, to enable it on other cameras, you need to dive deeper to menu, not on the Canon R8. All you have to do is to press several times the info button on the back until all the information will disappear. Voila, you have now clean HDMI feed from your Canon R8. So, that's promising so far. Regarding the answer number two, whether the Canon R8 can be used together with Atomos Ninja 5 to record longer 60 FPS clips. First, let's have a look at official Canon limitation claims. Shooting 4K UHD 59.94p for approximately 30 minutes without heat limit is possible if starting from 23 degrees of Celsius. In other modes, there is no limit due to heat. That's related to the internal camera recording to SD card, but no info about the external HDMI output, which I thought should give unlimited recording time. So I set up a test scene, set the recording mode to 4K 59.94p, C log 3 and continuous eye autofocus and network disabled and waited to see what would happen. And to my surprise, the Canon R8 turned off at 19 minutes and 40 seconds mark due to overheating. And I emphasize that the internal recording to the SD card has been disabled. You could see the no card in camera message on top. You can also see the thermometer was at 26.5 degrees of Celsius or 79.7 .7 degrees of Fahrenheit. So no crazy temps for the middle of the summer. So if you thought you can get away with the Canon R8 over the R6 Mark II for recording 60 FPS 4K videos, you are out of luck. In 60 FPS, the Canon R8 will overheat even just being turned on, and that's insane. Okay, that's not good, but maybe you can use the Canon R8 to record longer videos at least in 4K 30 FPS, or use it as a streaming camera for longer streams. Well, here I have for you good and bad news. Good news is, in 4K 30 FPS, the Canon R8 did not overheat even after two and a half hours of my testing, despite for almost a whole hour on the display was blinking the last warning before overheating. And the bad news? If you watch carefully my time lapse periodically every approximately 30 minutes, the HDMI feed was artificially disconnected. At 30 minutes mark, one hour, one and a half hours, two hours, two and a half hours. I just always disconnected the HDMI cable and connected back and it ran again for additional 30 minutes. So I ended up my testing because for me it was clear the Canon R8 is not worth my attention anymore. Remember the Canon's claim, in other modes there is no limit due to heat? That's incomplete information. Why don't you just say the full truth? Canon decided to put a hidden, non-documented kill switch to the HDMI feed to cut it off after 30 minutes. Canon, why? I'm sure you would get much more revenue if you would not put artificial limits on your cameras, like recording limits, such hidden limits or the stupid block of third-party RF lenses manufacturers. Canon, shame on you. Look, I'm shooting this video right now on two Canon R5C cameras. Third one is here on my table. Don't force me to switch to different brand just because of your greed. Once I will do so, you will never see me back. Wake up, okay? So, darling, I hope I saved you some money now. If you found my video useful, share it on forums and socials and give it thumbs up. 
click that circle above to subscribe and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and check out one of those videos over there and I will see you in the next one. See ya my friends.